Some of you all might not realize this, but it's been like a week and a half since I've sat in the studio, which is kind of crazy, but it's good to be back. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today we've got one of the largest unboxings I've ever had on this channel, and that's because I've been gone for a minute, and a bunch of packages came in. And it's like, all sorts of stuff. It's sneakers, it's tech, it's sports memorabilia, it's a bunch of awesome pickups that I'm really excited to show you guys, and if you guys like the idea of maybe once every month doing like, uh, favorite things unboxing, like I've seen some other non-sneaker channels do. Let me know in the comment section down below because I feel like that'd be pretty cool to do to show you guys a little bit more of what I'm interested in besides just sneakers. So just to fill you guys in on what I've been doing over the last week, because obviously I've still been posting videos, they were just pre-recorded videos from like a week and a half ago. Over the last week I got married and went on my honeymoon, which was super cool and just the best thing ever, so it was great to actually take some time off in addition to marrying the best woman ever. Um, <laughs> that was great, but of course I got a lot of packages and that's why we've got so much crap to unbox. But I wanted to start things off with something that I'm actually the most excited about out of everything in this unboxing, which is kind of crazy. I usually hold that stuff till the end. But the reason I'm going to be doing it first is because it's actually some tech. And the reason I'm so excited about this thing is not just because of how cool of a thing it actually is, but it's also what it means for like my YouTube career. This is something that I never thought would happen, especially being in sneakers, but it happened and I'm just like, I'm so stoked. It's crazy. And that is Google actually sending me an early phone which is crazy. Huge thank you to Google and Team Pixel for sending this phone over. I'm just like so stoked on this. I've just always been a huge fan of tech. In fact, I've got a whole nother tech channel where I will be reviewing this phone if you guys would like to check that out. There's a link at the top of the screen. Seriously, it's a lot of fun. You guys should check it out. But this is a phone that I'm gonna unbox today and uh, show you guys sort of what's going on with the Pixel 4a, which again, hasn't come out yet. Google's crazy. I don't know why they're sending me phones, but I'm here for it. I'm into it. This is so sick. So this is the Pixel 4a. It releases, I believe, next week. I've actually had this for about a week at this point and just haven't been able to film a video to show you guys, but I've already unboxed it. I'm just going to do sort of a symbolic unboxing just for the channel, but um, dude, this, this phone is sick. It's a $350 Pixel phone, but even though it's relatively inexpensive, it's still a really excellent phone. And I've been using it for the last week. I actually got a free Google Fi number, which I'm really excited about. Never thought I'd have Google Fi. And I've been really impressed. I've been using it for Instagram, for really anything that I use my regular phone for, and I'm stoked on it. I actually also think that Google sent me a special edition Team Pixel box. Like, this is not the retail packaging. This is the special edition Team Pixel box. So shout out to Team Pixel. Around the outside of the box, you've got some glamour shots of the Pixel 4a. I actually did an unboxing of the Pixel 4 on my other channel, which if you guys want to check that out, that'll be the link in the top of the description. But um, I'm really excited to check out the, uh, the slightly more budget-friendly version of that phone. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's beautiful. To be fair, I did repackage this, so it's not as fresh and clean as it was a week ago, but just for the purposes of the video, you've got this nice tab right here. You can pull out the phone. I, um, like I said, repackaged it and restuck the screen protector, which had dust on it, so it didn't um, work out that great. But hey, you know what? Let's just pull it off. So before we actually get to the phone itself, let's take a look inside the box. You've got this nice little phone holder area, I guess, that you can pull out. And inside this area, you've got the Google instruction manual, which I haven't actually opened yet. Let's see, you've got your instructions in blue, which is kind of cool, your SIM removal tool right here on the back, and then also some safety warranty stuff as well, which all phones have. And then the last thing that you've got inside the box is the USB-C cable, you've got the power brick, and you've also got a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which Every time, seriously, every time I unbox a phone, that falls out. Man, I thought because it was on a different channel, I'd be safe, but apparently not. Like I was saying, you've got the power brick, you've got the USB-C cable right here, and then you've also got the USB-A to USB-C adapter, which I'm having some trouble getting out. So if you want to plug this into your phone and then plug in a USB-A, you can do that, which is kind of nice. I also might actually use this for my computer if I can. I'm not 100% sure if I can, but we'll see. But here's the phone itself. It's the Google Pixel 4a. It's actually a really clean looking phone. I think it's 5.18 inches diagonally across the screen. So you've got a really large screen for the actual like footprint of the phone itself. On the back, you've got this nice plastic casing that comes in black. You've got your Google logo right there. And then you've got your fingerprint reader right there on the heel. I almost called it the heel. The back of the phone. <laughs> I've been loving this fingerprint reader because it's super easy to reach and super easy to touch and it's mad quick. You can unlock the phone almost instantly. You've got your camera right there on the back in the same sort of design language as the Pixel 4. You've got one lens and I believe it's a 12.2 megapixel camera. I could be wrong about that, but it actually takes really nice shots. And then powering this phone on, if I have any battery left, I might not. I kind of uh, used it a lot this week. <laughs> there we go. It's turning on. Good. One of my favorite things about this phone is that they've actually put the uh, front-facing camera right there up in the top 
left hand corner as this little like circle, a kind of punch out. My current phone has a notch, which I'm not a huge fan of, but in my opinion, I think this punch out is a little bit more discreet. And especially when you hide it with this sort of black to blue uh, wallpaper, you can't even really see it. But let me unlock this guy really quick. There we go. Super awesome phone, I've loved using it. If you guys would like to check out my full review on this phone, I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the top of the description once it's done. It should drop tomorrow if you're watching this video on the day that it drops. Huge thank you to Google for this phone. I'm really impressed by it and I can't believe Google is sending me phones. That's crazy. On to the next thing. What is the next thing? There's so much crap to unbox. I never have a knife or anything. It's like a running joke at this point and it's not on purpose. It's never on purpose. All right, so can't find anything. So let's just move on to the things that don't need to be unboxed and save the stuff that needs to be unboxed for later. To be fair though, this is actually some pretty cool stuff and it's the stuff that I'm actually probably second most excited about after the phone. So this is kind of a backwards unboxing at this point. A little bit heavy, but check that out. I got the jerseys framed. This is super awkward and these are really heavy so I'm not gonna do this for long, but shout out to MFC Authentics in Jersey for framing these for me. Um, they do awesome, awesome work and I'm really happy with how these came out. This first one obviously is the Lamar Jackson signed jersey. Shout out to Lamar, you're the best. Also, he won't let people tag him on Instagram, so I couldn't tag him when I got this jersey, which kind of sucked, but shout out to Lamar nonetheless. Super excited about it. We backed it with this really cool, like, purple backing stuff to match the jersey. I think it looks incredible. Originally, I was planning to uh, throw this stuff up in the back of the studio, but after realizing how big they are, I don't think that's going to work, so I'm going to put these up in the new studio when I move, um, hopefully in the next couple months. So until then, these will be in my office, but uh, I'm really excited about these. And uh, they look sick. But not only did I get Lamar Jackson framed, I also got my man AI framed. So let's pull him out. Here he is, AI, best basketball player of all time after Jordan. Even Kobe said that if AI was 6'6", he'd be better than Jordan. AI is just incredible. He's an inspiration. I grew up loving AI and watching AI, so it's really cool to finally have a signed jersey of his that I can put up in my studio when I actually get a bigger studio. But super happy with it. I think both jerseys look incredible. I've got my two favorite players. Now I just need the Dr. J jersey framed. And then hopefully I can grab like a, I don't know, like an Ed Reed jersey or a uh, Michael Jordan jersey. That would be pretty sick. So we'll see what happens. Shout out to Pristine Auction actually also for sending these jerseys over. I really appreciate that. Really stoked on these. These are like some of my favorite things that I own. And uh, I'm going to keep them in the packaging until I can actually mount them. But continuing on, I got some scissors. So we are actually able to finally get into the unboxing portion of the unboxing. And the first thing we're going to unbox is actually a package. I believe from Soul Premise, but I ripped off the, uh, the tag in the front, so I'm not 100% sure. So just shout out to them for constantly supplying the channel with some dope bags. So let's see what we've got. <laughs> no way, I think they just replaced my emerald duffel bag because my fiance stole it. I keep saying that, she's my wife now, she's not my fiance. It's official. But it does look like they actually did replace the <laughs> emerald duffel bag. Oh wait, no, hold up. This isn't what I thought it was, it's an emerald backpack. Yo, this is sick. So this is a sole premise backpack specifically designed for carrying sneakers and other good stuff like that. I use it a lot when I'm traveling. I bring like one or two pairs of sneakers with me and then throw my laptop and my camera and all sorts of good stuff. You've got some sneaker pouches on the front right there, which is super useful. I believe this is the smaller of the two bags that they make. Shout out to them for this. This is awesome. And it looks like there is actually another thing in the box. Shout out to sole premise. They actually did send me another emerald duffel bag because Jordan stole mine. So shout out to you guys for that. I love, this is my favorite duffel bag that they make. And uh, I was kind of bummed when she stole it, but now I have my own. And if you carry around a lot of sneakers like I do, they're a great way to go. So shout out to them for this. This is awesome. Okay, so next up, we've actually got a package from, I believe Puma, but they didn't tell me it was coming, so I have no idea what it is. Nice, it is Puma, like I thought. Looks like we've got two boxes in here. Shout out to Puma for sending over this care package. I appreciate it. So the first shoe box out of the box is what seems to be a pair of RS Fast. Never heard of that silhouette before. This is new. <laughs> this is actually kind of sick. So this is the Puma RS Fast in a apparently infrared black and white colorway. It's actually really clean. I really like the paneling on the upper. It's a lot of uh, fuse overlay, but it creates a really nice shape on the upper. I'm actually also really into the splatter print on the forefoot of the shoe. That's sick. I'm not sure what the price point is for these. There doesn't seem to be a note or anything, so I don't know if these have released yet or not. But this is the Puma RS Fast, running system fast. It's pretty similar to the RSX, but it looks like the paneling on the upper and some of the midsole um, construction or midsole uh, modeling has changed. Padding on the upper feels really nice as well. And this infrared color, or whatever they're calling it, is really nice. 
I need to look more into this shoe. If you guys want to learn more about this shoe or maybe have me do a review on it, let me know in the comment section down below. Dope. Stoked on this. Let's find out what the other shoe is. Also an RS Fast, but a different colorway. So let's pull it out. Ooh. Very nice. So this is also the RS Fast, and it looks like there's a little tag on the back. This colorway is, let's see if they have a name for it. Puma White Peach Blue. Seems to be what it's called. Actually, come to think of it, what's the colorway of the other shoe? This is a uh, Puma White Black Red Blast. It's a nice looking shoe, and it also feels a little bit more sporty than some of the other Puma shoes I've looked at recently. I really like this a lot. I love the sort of uh, very fast aesthetic that the Puma, that's so funny that I said that because that's not at all what I was thinking. I realize this is called the RS Fast, but <laughs> it looks like a fast shoe. It looks like something that kind of speeds by you. <laughs> Really, seriously, not on purpose. Again, if you guys want to see a review of these shoes, let me know in the comment section down below. And then finally, we've got a package from Concepts, which I've been waiting for for the last couple days, and I am really, really excited to open. Before I open this though, shout out to Karis Goodridge for the assist on these. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to grab these from Concepts. Also, he helped me out with some of the Bodega New Balances, so shout out to him for that. If you guys want to check him out on Instagram, I've left a link in the description below. He's a really good dude, and uh, he helped me out with a lot of shoes, so I can't thank him enough for that. But this shoe in particular, I'm stoked on. And I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know what this is because you know about Concepts' recent collaborations, but this one in particular, man, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm excited to see. So, if you know me at all, you know that over the last year or so, I've been getting really heavy into New Balance. And Concepts just collaborated with New Balance. So this shoe was a must. It was definitely a must, especially when it looks this good. And you guys will see in a second if you don't already know, but this is a New Balance Concepts 327. And when I open the box, you guys are going to see how crazy this shoe looks. Like I mentioned, this is the Concepts New Balance 327. This is called Cape, I think. It's based off Cape Cod because both Concepts and New Balance are based up in Boston. And the colorway of this shoe is inspired by the cranberry fields or the cranberry bogs, is that what they're called? Um, that you can find in Cape Cod, so that's why you've got the bright red color on the upper. This collab is fire, and I've been trying to get a collab 327 for a minute. I just got a pair of the standard 327s, which I just reviewed, so if you guys want to check that video out, there'll be probably not a link, because I've got like seven links in the description by this point, but you can just find it on my channel. It's the last video I posted. But this is by far my favorite 327 ever. This 327 is sick. Actually, you know what? The Casablanca one is also really dope. I like that one a lot. I think it's tied with this one. So it's it's one of my favorite 327s ever. This shoe is so sick. Red is like my favorite color. So having a red 327, an all red 327 that has a couple different shades of red because it kind of fades towards the front of the shoe, it's such a clean look. So not only is this shoe inspired by cranberries, but it's also inspired by cranberry cocktails. So that's why you've got the red upper because that's the cranberry cocktail. You've got sort of the icy outsole, which I assume is the glass, and then the neon green hit right here, which apparently is a lime. I'm not kidding, that's actually what the inspiration is. But to be fair, I'm still into it. I think Concepts and New Balance have just knocked this collab out of the park. They've killed it with this. This is such a clean look. You've got Concepts on the insole of the shoe. You've got Concepts across the New Balance logo on the tongue. And of course, you've got the Intelligent Choice on the back of the tongue right there, one of my favorite 327 touches. This shoe is just so clean. I love the way it looks. I love the suede details. I love how they're like a darker shade of maroon and then the canvas on the upper sort of fades. Like I said before, it's got sort of an ombre look going from a cranberry color to like a light red color there on the toe. It's just such a beautiful sneaker. I feel like they just, they couldn't have done it any better. I feel like this is one of the best 327 collabs ever. Also, I'm a sucker for Red New Balance collaborations in particular. The Joe Fresh Goods collab, which I think is right down there, um, is one of my favorite collabs of the year. And so having another red collab New Balance is pretty cool to see because I just, I love red. In addition to Karis Goodridge, huge thank you to Concepts for the assist on these. I'm really, really into these, and I think you guys knocked it out of the park. You guys really, really killed it with these. I've said it a million times before, but I'll continue to say it. New Balance is the wave, and if you're not already on the wave, you're missing out because New Balance puts out some of the highest quality sneakers at some of the best prices. And if you're only into sneakers for the hype, which kind of sucks if you are, New Balance has shoes that are reselling for thousands of dollars. There was like probably four or five releases this year that have resold for over a thousand dollars. So no matter what reason you're into sneakers, New Balance is a great brand that creates high quality, good looking shoes and they're reselling, if that's all you care about. The shoes are dope. And like I said before, I'm gonna shoot my shot once again, New Balance. If you guys ever wanna collab with me, <laughs> I'd love it, that'd be sick. 
uh, just shoot me an email. That'd be awesome. So I think at this point we've unboxed everything that I got in over the last week. So thank you to everyone who sent over stuff. Puma, Soul Premise, Karis Goodridge, Concepts, Google in particular. I love Google and that's so crazy to get a Google phone. I'm just blown away by all this awesome stuff. So shout out to everyone who made it possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below which thing you like the best and whether you want to see a review of any of this stuff, whether it's the phone or the shoes or the bags or whatever. Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in the next one.